Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And this video is the fifth episode of Minecraft in depth. And so last week we covered the end city in Minecraft. And this week I will tell you everything you need to know about the Nether Fortress, as suggested by Dark Vortex Gaming right here. And so if you want to suggest a topic for the next Minecraft in depth video, just leave a comment down below with a topic from one of the following categories. So we have entities, structures, biomes, blocks, items or random, just a random other topic. And also be sure to just go down to the comments right now, see which topic you think is good for the next video and just like those comments because I will choose the most liked comment for the next topic. And so if you like Minecraft videos like this one, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. But let's just get started with the Nether Fortress in Minecraft. So the Nether Fortress was introduced in Beta 1.9 pre-release. And this was on the 22nd of September of 2011. Nine and a half years this structure has already been in the game. And of course the nether fortress as its name already suggests generates in the nether. And on screen right now you can see a schematic and here you can see where a nether fortress is able to spawn in the nether. So there are lots of places where it can't spawn and in each one of these quadrants there's a chance that there's a bastion or a chance that there's a nether fortress. In Java edition there's a 40% chance it's a fortress and a 60% chance it's a bastion. And in better edition it's a 33% chance of it being a fortress and a 66% chance of it being a bastion. And so let's go over the main structural part of the nether fortress first. So of what types of components does this structure exist? So there is both the exterior and the interior. So right here we see the exterior where we just see walkways and stuff. And here is a little part of the interior of a nether fortress. So first of all for the exterior. A nether fortress can generate with of course these straight bridges with pillars supporting them. And it can contain up to 5 plane crossings like these over here. Then up to 4 of these crossings with these arches of nether bricks and nether brick fences. Up to four of these little rooms with the nether brick staircase in them that leads them to the roof of that part. And also up to two blaze spawn areas like this one. And so it also has a little staircase and then the blaze spawner over here and then some nether brick fences around it. Then for the interior, all of the interior has these two block windows with nether brick fences in them all around. And there's also a room that connects the exterior to the interior and that's this lava well room. Which has this one block of lava in the center that goes all the way down. As you can see it sprouts all the way down and falls out of the bottom of the structure here. So it's easily identifiable if you're below the structure and you're just looking around you see a huge pile of lava coming from one part of the structure. This is where the lava well room is. Then the interior can of course contain straight corridors, up to 5 four way crossings like this one over here, up to 20 corner turns, so there's one over here and also one over here. And so each one of these corner turns has a 33% chance of it spawning with a chest, which we have over here for example. So I have a corner and there's a chest over here. We'll go into the loot of the chest later on in this video. So there can also be in the interior up to 3 staircases like these. And up to two of these rooms with a balcony attached to them. Up to two of these staircases with nether ward at the bottom and an extra corridor right behind here. Well, there isn't a corridor here, but a possibility for a corridor. And so all the blocks that can generate in a nether fortress are the nether bricks, the nether brick fences, nether brick stairs, soul sand, nether ward, chests, blaze spawners and lava. Then for mob spawning. In another fortress the blaze mob can spawn of course with the spawners but also just normally in the fortress itself. Furthermore zombified piglins can spawn, wither skeletons, skeletons and magma cubes. And so to spawn these mobs the game will check either for just normal blocks within the bounding box of one of these pieces. For example of one of these bridge crossing pieces it will look for blocks in there and it will spawn mobs on top of them. Doesn't need to be nether bricks necessarily. Or it will look at the entire nether fortress bounding box and look for nether bricks inside of them. And it will spawn mobs on top of those as well. 
And so the most common mob in a nether fortress is the blaze, which has a weight of 10 out of 28. The zombified piglin has a weight of 5 out of 28. The wither skeleton 8 out of 28. The skeleton 2 out of 28 and the magma cube 3 out of 28. Then for the chest loot, the chests in nether fortresses can contain gold ingots, saddles, golden horse armor, nether ward, iron ingots, diamonds, flint and steel, iron horse armor, golden swords, golden chest plates, diamond horse armor or obsidian. And of course the items that can stack can generate in a larger amounts here as well. And it can generate with 2 to 4 item stacks as well. So we have 3 item stacks here of nether wards and one of them has 3 nether wards in them. And so the most common items in chests are gold ingots and saddles. And the least common are diamond horse armor and obsidian. There's also one advancement you can get from the nether fortress. And that's when you enter one you get a terrible fortress advancement. Now for the history of the nether fortress, as I said, it was introduced in beta 1.9 pre-release, so in September of 2011. Then a year later in update 1.4.2, actually in snapshot 12w36a, they made it so wither skeletons and skeletons naturally spawn in these fortresses. And this made other mobs more rare in the nether fortress, especially the zombie pigmen, as it was called then. In 1.6.1, snapshot 13w18a, chests ge started generating in the nether fortress. And later on in, in update 1.8, they added the possibility of having obsidian in the loot chests of the nether fortress. In 1.9, they reduced the amount of loot you could get in the loot chests. And in the nether update 1.16, they added the functionality of the nether fortress spawning in the basalt deltas and also in the soul sand valleys and it also made them generate evenly through the nether which we already saw at the start of the video with the generation map and it made them a bit more common as well so there we go i hope you now know everything you need to know about the nether fortress in minecraft if you like this video please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more minecraft videos like this one and so make sure to comment the topic for the next minecraft in-depth video down below and like all the topics you think would be nice to do there we go i want to thank my tier 3 member the smigglar thank you so much for coming a tier 3 member if you also become a member click the blue join button below the video but there we go i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope to see you all in the next one so until then mm, bye bye <laughs>